Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, this is going to be your February 2021 love and romance reading. Now, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and down the middle we're going to see what's going on between you guys. At any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. Also, I urge you guys to play with time. This could be a past relationship, a current connection, or an energy that's moving towards you in February 2021. Before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also check out the description box if you want your own private reading, or you would, um, if you like the decks that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance down below. Now, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Pisces. All right, messages for Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces, please. February 2021, Love and Romance. Okay, wow, you guys are coming out as the High Priestess. This is your energy. It can also represent Virgo. And there's that Virgo energy, as I say, that Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So you see your person as the Nine of Pentacles. You see the relationship as the Seven of Cups. Your person is showing up as the Six of Pentacles. They see you as the Ten of Swords in reverse. And they see the relationship as the seven of swords. Okay, so I definitely am seeing here two sevens. There is a very spiritual component or bond between you guys. Okay, despite what's happening. So we have the three of swords. We have the four of wands. This very well could be your twin flame. You guys could be married, but there is a deep soul connection. Yeah, and you guys are soulmates. You guys may have come together. And maybe going through a bit of a separation or distance. Okay, but again, these are lessons that you guys signed up to learn. You guys are healing something within each other. Okay, that is sort of the purpose of this relationship. The Magician, more Virgo energy or Gemini. You, you or them could have these in your chart. But this is definitely a magical relationship. When we have the High Priestess and the Magician, this is a true pair. And I told you I was picking up on the number 77, the master number. It's a very spiritual number. It's a... Um, you know, it's the path of the mystic. It's, you know, the yogi. So again, there's a spiritual lesson here involved, but it is already a very deep connection. Um, and I feel as if you're the purpose of you guys coming together that you signed up to heal each other. Okay. A past life connection where you promise to meet each lifetime and to heal. So the magician is beautiful. Okay. This is the energy of manifestation. It just speaks to the magic here, despite how you might be feeling. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but we've got some intense lessons here coming on. So the high priestess in reverse, this is, um, this is your energy Pisces. You may be a little bit frustrated if you guys aren't physically together or just the way things have been going, because you may have been trying to manifest this, or maybe they were, but there is a sense of frustration, maybe not being able to tap into your intuition, understand who is this person? Why do I feel so connected to this person? But then they, you know, but there's also this sadness here that we're experiencing. Okay. But I do feel as if you, you've really, you're going within, you're doing that work to figure out what's going on here. You see your person as the nine of pentacles in reverse. So this is Venus and Virgo energy, somebody who really takes care of themselves. Um, I'm seeing that, you know, your person really does want to put in the time and the effort in this situation. Um, they may be working through issues of codependency or just sort of cleaning up their lives you know, maybe moving away from, you know, whether it's bad behaviors, um, you know, becoming healthier, maybe just working on their coin, that type of energy. But I feel as if, you know, there, I think you also realize this person isn't going to be single for very long if you're not together. And that might also be creating a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of nervousness here. So you're seeing the relationship as the seven of cups in reverse. So I feel like where there was confusion Pisces for you, you know, the high priestess, there are things that are being revealed to you. Um, and definitely through signs and synchronicities, you're getting really clear on this relationship. Seven of cups in reverse takes us back to the six of cups. I think you're realizing you're coming into this aha moment that you guys are soulmates. There's also a bit of grounding that's taking place. You know, I think you're coming into this realization about where you want to take this relationship. 
relationship. Now, remember, you have the power. It's either going to say, yes, let's like rekindle, renew, let's do this. Or maybe you're going to move in a new direction. So your person, Pisces, is showing up as the Six of Pentacles. They could have Earth in their chart. Again, I, I pick up on a lot of Virgo energy, but it could be Virgo. It could be Taurus. It could be Capricorn. This is actually a Taurian card. Your person could be breadcrumbing you. Um, your, your person could be a little bit, um, also feeling a little bit rejected or out in the cold. Um, you may have pulled back your energy, Pisces, just to sort of get some clarity. Um, and your person, that might have triggered a little bit of a sense of codependency within your person. Um, but it may also, you know, that your person is trying to balance things out. Again, they might be working on trying to balance their finances, balance their health, and that sort of thing. Now, they see you as the Ten of Swords in reverse. So the Ten of Swords in reverse is really they want a new beginning. I feel as if they're very clear, okay, about... Um, they're clear about their feelings for you. There may have been an ending between you or a difficult cycle that's coming to a close and they see a new beginning here. They see the relationship though as the seven of swords. It may be something that you have to keep that is kept hidden for some reason, but more than anything, you know, Pisces, I feel as if they feel as if you're not telling them the whole truth or you're not opening up about your true emotions um, regarding them or this connection. So we do see the Three of Swords. There's always a possibility with this card that there was a third party situation that may have gotten involved um, between you guys. Um, the Three of Swords is also just sadness and sorrow. And like I said, I feel like this is a past life connection um, that you guys really are meant to trigger each other and start some healing here. The Four of Wands, you know, there's a possibility here for stability, for longevity, for marriage, or some sort of commitment. This is my 1111 card. So again, strong soul connection. This is reiterated echoed by the six of cups some of you may have children with this person again this could also be a reconciliation we have two sixes coming through here and that nine in reverse also looks like another six so you could have a life path number six they could but six is a number of love and it's a number of balance so despite what things might seem pisces there there does seem to be hope here um, and there's a very sort of loving, nurturing energy, and it's a very highly spiritual connection that you may not be able to explain, okay? It may be why it's also been a little bit difficult, why you've had this confusion on your part. So tell me why the High Priestess is in reverse here. Why do we see the High Priestess in reverse for Pisces? Okay, we see the candle. Okay, this is my twin flame card in this deck. There's a lot of romance, but I also feel like there was a lot that was hidden. Okay, whether that's your emotions, their emotions, or maybe you were just, you just, the intensity of this connection sort of kept you in the dark. But with those two candles, there's a lot of intimacy. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of potential for romance. And, you know, look at the high priestess. It's like this, the Roman numeral is 11, right? It's one and one to make two. And then we see those two candles. So we've got 1111 coming out twice in this reading, you guys. All right. Nine of pentacles in reverse. So you see your person um, in this energy. You may see, again, I think you realize your person is kind of cleaning up their life, that they're kind of getting their act together. They may be taking care of themselves physically or financially. With the comb, it's about appearances. So again, there may have been something here that, you know, wasn't what it seemed. You may be finding out, getting with this clarity, seeing things for what they really are. Maybe you weren't taking a serious approach to this relationship, and now you are, the deeper you get, or maybe it's vice versa. Maybe what you thought initially just isn't isn't the case and you may have pulled back your energy so take take um take that how it resonates but 35 the energy this is eight so there is an up leveling there's there you guys are ascending as a result of coming into contact or coming into union there's an ascension and i do feel like your person their imbalanced energy they're either working on their coin they're working on their health or their stability but i feel like that's also a result of coming into contact with you all right, so the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is how you see the relationship. All right, and we see the beacon, 17 breaking down to another eight. So you have 88 coming out here really strong. Um, we also have a lot of sevens sort of showing up in the reading. So it's, it's a very spiritual connection. The beacon is uh, you have hope. I think you're shining the light on what really truly is. You're coming into a realization about this person. And for many of you, you're coming, you're recognizing that you guys are soulmates. Okay. You may want to leave like a little bit of a difficult past, or if you guys had 
um, you know, some sort of heartbreak or sorrow or misunderstandings because that three of swords, again, you guys are meant to heal each other. All right, so the six of pentacles in reverse, your person. Why is the six of pentacles in reverse here? Okay, we see the book 28. Yeah, they're they're completing a really difficult cycle. For some of them, they might sort of be paying off debts. They might be finishing up education, trying to bring something back into balance in their life, something having to do with career, something having to do with health. Um, I feel as if they're ending a cycle. They're closing out a difficult chapter in their lives. And that may be really when you met, okay, or when you meet. So the Ten of Swords in reverse energy, this is how they see you, Pisces. Yeah, healing, look at that, another number eight. So we've got a lot of synchronicities with sevens, with elevens, with eight. These are important numbers for you guys. Um, the medicine card is, yeah, they want to heal this. Pisces, they may want to heal you, okay? They may want to heal you or they just understand or they just feel like they are being healed just by being in contact with you. It's a beautiful energy here. It really is. There's a sweetness to it, even though there definitely have been difficulties. So the Seven of Swords, there's something here that's not quite being revealed. We get the 33. This is, you know, this is TikTok. This is times that, you know, times a waste and there might be a sense of urgency on your person's part um, to sort of figure things out to, you know, they might be pushing to have an, uh, an, a conversation with you to clear up how they feel, um, where you guys want to take this, what's going on. But 33 is also another master number. So now we have three threes coming out. Um, again, another important number, an angel number for you guys that just, you know, divine timing is at work here. So again, your person, or maybe this is your energy, don't try to force anything. Um, it's going to be delivered to you organically. Okay. And I feel like Pisces, you're really in this energy of seeing things from a different perspective, getting in touch with your intuition, grounding, you know, and, and when this relationship started off, there may have been a lot of rom romance and fantasy and illusion surrounding it. And again, I feel like something happened between you guys, whether it was an argument or a separation or whatever it might be, that caused some sadness and sorrow. It could also be a third party energy, okay, which could be friends, could be families, it could be another love interest, okay? Take it how it resonates. Um, but that you feel like, you know, you, you realize here and Spirit's coming through to tell you there are tough lessons that you signed up to learn with this person, from this person, but also to trigger some healing. All right, so tell me about this Three of Swords. Please tell me about this Three of Swords between Pisces and their person. We get the triangle. Ooh, so there could have been a third party situation, but the triangle situation, you know, 22 is a master builder number. It's one of the most powerful master numbers. It's about love and it's about compassion. I do feel as if this is your person. Okay, and the high priestess is the number two and we get 22. So now we have three twos coming out. We have three threes. Oh my gosh, the only thing we don't have are fours and fives, but maybe that's okay. <laughs> so there may be a little lack of stabilities, but we, stability, but we have sixes, we have sevens, we have eights. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful energy. There's a lot of synchronicity that really can't be denied. So spirit's asking you to pay attention to those signs and those synchronicities, Pisces, regarding your situation. Now the triangle can speak to a love triangle, third energy. Not all of it is going to be romantic. For some of you, it will be. And if you kind of have that impression you know, trust your intuition. But the triangle in this deck is a beautiful card, not only about that, but it's about ascension. It's about moving forward. It's also about, I'm seeing the yield sign. So I'm seeing about you guys coming to a compromise, trying to heal whatever this has been, putting things that have happened between you in the past and leaving them there. Okay. The four of wands. Tell me about the four of wands. We get the lady. Yeah. Beautiful. I do feel for some of you, there may have been a third energy. It could be a maternal, a family member. It could be somebody else who was like vying for your attention or their attention. That's not going to be for all of you. But what I'm also seeing, you know, and you, like I said, I think you already know or, you're, or you will already be feeling that or it's something that you guys already dealt with. <sighs> because 39 breaks down to a 12, breaks down to another three and lady number two. So again, it could be that somebody here did have two feminine energies to choose from. It may be you, Pisces. You might be trying to make a choice, okay? And you're going to use your intuition and you're going to go towards whoever you feel brings you sort of the most stability. But this lady too is also, because again, for not all of you, is this going to be a third party situation? But it's also about looking at the past, 
okay, looking back and just sort of in this really reflective, reflect, reflective mode and seeing what, what is that's going to make you really happy. What is it that you want? And I see those doves peeking out from underneath the four of wands there. And it's really about peace. Like what's, what decision, what action is going to bring you peace, Pisces? All right. And it's not so much focus. Like there may have been like too much of a focus on the 3D or what something looks like or maybe even on outward appearances. And I think, you know, we're going a lot deeper here. Okay, because we see the camera, we see the comb, and we see the comb. And again, I feel like there's certain things that you're learning about your person that are either making you fall deeper in love or maybe really having you question this connection. But for, for many of you guys, this is such a strong connection. And you have hope. You have hope in, you know, in reconciliation and coming back together or coming into union with this person. So tell me about the Six of Cups, please. All right, we get the automobile. Okay, so for those of you who are waiting on reconciliation, um, it's interesting because I get that this is a slow moving journey and that might be a little frustrating for you, but I do feel like this person is coming towards you and it may be just communication, okay? So things might start off kind of slow um, that move you guys in the direction of healing and happiness and love. All right, so. I'm going to go ahead and pull some additional messages for my dear Pisces. Okay, unleash your creativity. So there's that four I was looking for. <laughs> All right, so again, just, you know, I think that you do really want to create something here with this person. Many of you guys also, you've been really channeling any sort of excess anxiety or energies into creative projects, writing, making jewelry, um, you know, maybe it's even, you know, whatever you do, whatever you do creatively, design, you know, making clothes, courage. Yeah, so look at that. We do get two images here. Again, this Virgo energy coming out with this lantern. Um, you know, it's going to take courage to come forward. I think both of you um, may be a little bit hesitant. There may be some distance between you. Um, courage to express your emotions. Courage to tell this person how you really feel. Okay. Um, but, you know, I just, I, I can't ignore the high priestess with the magician. This is such a powerfully spiritual connection and it really might be your twin flame that you're dealing with and remember you need courage in that in those situations you know because it's not easy these lessons are very very tough 22 again another number 22 coming out have faith have faith that your prayers are being answered okay have faith this person is coming have faith that communication is going to clear up that you guys were meant to heal aspects of each other, okay? But that comes through, you know, triggering each other first. All right, and then we get self-love, 24, another six. Pisces, the number six in this reading is off the charts. I mean, it's showing up everywhere. So much synchronicity in the numbers, self-love. This is what the energy that we have to be in. This is the energy I think your person is also embodying right now. And you may find that very attractive. It may be, you know, you thought things were over and you're seeing a big shift, okay? And that's where you're getting this clarity. Who you want, what type of energy that you're trying to manifest into your life. And many of you, you're realizing it's this person. Your person just might be very sexy, very bold. They might be a little bit different than you. They might be a little bit edgier, okay? So let's go ahead and see what additional messages come through for my Pisces. All right, we get finding balance. So there are my twos coming out. So making a decision, really balancing your emotions, trying to balance intuition and logic, because you may have realized there was a, a bit of illusion surrounding this situation um, when it first started. So we get the five of wands in reverse, which takes us to the four of wands. Again, double confirmation or triple confirmation of this being a soulmate or twin flame union, but leaving challenging times behind. Okay, we get trust, so we get full. There's a new beginning with that heart chakra wide open. It's there if you want it. And we get another new beginning, clarity or belief and communication. So communication is gonna be very, very important. Here we get that Venus and Virgo energy. 
well-deserved reward, okay? This is about, you know, for many of you guys, these challenges that you guys have experienced were meant to trigger this self-love, a lesson of self-love and being independent. Many of you have been working on your health or on your finances. That's exactly what you're supposed to be doing while you sort of figure out the situation and while things develop organically for you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and see what additional messages come through. All right, we get romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. So the romance is there. Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, so many of you guys, again, there there were things that were happening, whether it was jealousy, um, these triggers. You know, somebody or both of you may have pulled back your energy because of the intensity here. Okay, and then we get attraction. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Those of you in separation from this person, and maybe your person's energy, I feel like it's both because I feel like you guys mirror each other. The lesson here is about self-love. And learning that lesson, I feel, is what's going to bring you in into union because somebody here is dealing with a little bit of codependency. It may have triggered abandonment issues within. And it's like you're learning that. You're standing on your own two feet. You're standing your ground. You're realizing you're okay without this person. Or that's the lesson that you needed to learn. But you want, you're getting to a stable place where you want to invite someone in to make your life better, not because you need them, but because that's what you want. And I feel like both of you do want this, but this was a, like a tough lesson to learn. Okay. Calling in your soulmate. Yeah. Manifesting. I feel like both, I feel like you guys are manifesting each other. Um, absolutely. It's beautiful. It's like, you know, I'm almost like welling up here, Pisces, because it's like, this has been difficult. These challenging times are coming to an end. The intensity here is off the charts off the charts, Pisces. All right. So we get bewitched by your mystery. Your sex caught me by surprise. I wish to receive it all again, an erotic once upon a time. So you may be fantasizing about this person. They may be fantasizing about you. Again, there was a lot of mystery, a lot of illusion, confusion, um, you know, at the, and at the start of this relationship. Okay. And then we get my divine King. I long for the day to sit on your throne like a divine queen. I've kept myself clean. So <laughs> what I was, what I'm picking up there is ab absolutely. This is your person emperor to empress. All right, Pisces, I'm going to pull two more cards for you. All right. Spirit asks that you send your person loving healing energies, no matter the current circumstances or situation. Energy travels and what you project onto your person is a reflection of who you are. Make it magical and creative. So we see that creative energy. We see the magic here with the high priestess and um, the magician. Oh my goodness, they will feel it. And you guys are just absolutely mirroring each other, mirrored souls. I mean, this is absolutely a twin flame journey for most of you. It's time for you to take control of your relationship. Demand what it is that you want. You never know. They might just find your dominating energy sexy. So yeah, I feel like you're coming out of this confusion. Um, you might be the first one to send a message or maybe it's them, but you know, somebody's going to step up here. Okay. And I feel like it's going to be absolutely well received. So let's go ahead and see what comes through. Forgiveness. Yeah. So many of you guys have been in separation here. Stop focusing your energy on past events. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So again, there's that energy of law of attraction, okay, and the magician. Look deep within your heart, and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. There's that Piscean depth of emotion. The love between you guys runs so deep. And we get the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So remember we have faith. Have faith that everything is working out the way it's supposed to. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So I feel like you guys, again, you're meant to learn some, some tough lessons together. Okay. Um, but also to heal each other. And we get manifesting miracles. So right here with the magician card and all of these eights coming out, Pisces, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Wow. What a very special reading for you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for listening. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.